So you've been kicked out of nursing school. Now what do you do? This is Sarah Threads to NurseRN.com and today I'm going to answer that question. Nursing school isn't easy and each semester unfortunately some nursing students are told they've been kicked out of the nursing program. Now this can happen for various reasons. Maybe their GPA fell too low or they fell to class or they scored too low on a HESI or ATI exam. Whatever the reason is though, it's very heartbreaking and confusing because on one hand the person wants to be a nurse but on the other hand they start to question am I really called to be a nurse so what should an aspiring nurse do next first what you want to do is you don't want to feel defeated and fall into the cycle of depression because it's perfectly normal to feel confused and depressed when you fell out of nursing school you're probably going to feel like a wide variety of emotions like you're going to feel dumb you're going to feel embarrassed because here's these people you went to nursing school with they're passing and they're going on and you're stuck here with this setback and you don't know what direction to take also you may feel like life is pointless and you don't know what you have to offer the world and these are really lies that we tell ourselves whenever we have a major setback in life so what you want to do is you want to take some time to vent about it cry about it and pray about it Plus, you want to take some time to eat your favorite junk food, sit around, binge watch your favorite show, and grieve about this because that is how we deal with things as humans whenever we have major setbacks in life. But you don't want to stay in this pattern and you don't want to engage in destructive behaviors either. So have your down moment and then pick yourself back up and remind yourself that you have purpose in life. You have talents and gifts that other people don't have that you can take and give back to the world and accomplish great things. Because some of the most successful people in life, if you go back and you read their biography, you will see that they've had some major setbacks or devastating things happen in their life, but they didn't give up. They kept going and you should too. Next, what you want to do is you want to do some soul searching and evaluation. And you want to evaluate and be honest with yourself with why you got kicked out of the program. So maybe you want to ask yourself, did I just have a really bad semester where everything I tried to do just went wrong like I felt every exam I wasn't grasping what was going on in clinicals or maybe you didn't have enough time because you were trying to juggle too much in your personal life and you didn't have enough time to devote to your studies but if you had enough time you would have passed maybe the nursing material was just not sticking in your head you couldn't really comprehend it or you lost interest, or maybe you started to question if nursing was for you. But whatever the question, whatever the answer, by asking yourself these things, it'll help you realize what went wrong and what you can do to fix it next time. So after your soul searching, if you still want to become a nurse, you have options available, so don't give up. First, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the dean or an advisor in that nursing program that you got kicked out of and ask them what you have to do to get back in the program. Do you need to file an appeal? retake a course whatever it is because you want to make sure you're asking the right people the right questions and that you've exhausted all options and how you can get back into that program now if that doesn't work maybe you want to look in your area at some schools that have a nursing program and see what the requirements are and see if you can go there instead or you may want to consider switching your nursing degree let's say you're going for a BSN Maybe you could switch to an ADN program or become an LPN because whatever route you take, you can become a nurse, work as a nurse, and then if you want to further your nursing degree, you can do that in the future. And these programs tend to be a little less expensive and shorter, but you still have options. Now let's say that you've decided that nursing is not for you, but you love healthcare and you love helping others. So what should you do? Well, the great thing is that nursing is not the only healthcare profession out there that allows you to help others. There's many other great healthcare professions out there that will allow you to serve others while providing you with a deep sense of purpose. For instance, you can become like an EMT, paramedic, medical assistant, echo tech, x-ray tech, physical therapist, occupational therapist, or speech therapist, and that's just to name a few. And what you may find is that these health professions actually suit you better than nursing, and that's okay because we need all of these professions to work together so we can provide excellent care to our patients. 
So in conclusion, you never want to give up. I know it is really hard to have a major setback like this, but you have to overcome it. And remember, you are not a failure, you are not dumb, and you have unique talents and gifts that other people in this world don't have that you can use to give back to others. Because I have worked with some really great nurses that have failed out of a program, they were held back a semester, or they even failed NCLEX a couple times, but they're still an excellent nurse. And when we set out to become a nurse, we all have the same destination, become a nurse. But it takes some of us, we have to travel down different roads to get there, or we may even be detoured and it takes us a little bit longer than others to actually get to our destination. But regardless, we want to become a nurse. So pick yourself back up and work hard to accomplish the things that God has set out for you to do. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.